So I've had a few questions about how to use WebAssign's graphing tool and uh, in particular with assignment uh, 4 uh, problems 5 and 6 and in those problems we're given quadratic functions which are parabolas so you want to make sure you use the parabola tool uh, before you decide to graph your parabola uh, you may want to plug in a couple of x values so that you know the points that your parabola passes through uh, but I'm just going to work with, uh, off the top of my head, the parabola uh, negative x squared plus 10. Okay, And so what you do is you select the parabola tool. Uh, we want the one that uh, is a function facing up and down. And uh, negative x squared plus 10, if I plug a 0 in, I get 10. So I'm going to plot the point 0, 10. And then you can see as you move around, you start to draw your uh, parabola here. The gray shows you where your parabola will show up. Um, uh, that Let me be a little clear, clearer here. Uh, the first point you plot is going to be the vertex. So you want to make sure you locate the vertex when the parabola just has an x squared term and then a constant term the vertex will be on the y-axis. So we plug in 0, we know our vertex is at 10 and then um, let's locate another point and uh, to do that you have to plug in a, an x value. So I'm going to plug in say 2. Uh, 2 squared is 4 and so that would be a negative 4 plus 10 that would be 6. So I need to go to 2 comma 6 and click the second point. And when I do that now I have a parabola that uh, you can see uh, crosses uh, the y-axis at 0, 10 and the second point is 2, comma 6. And then if everything looks good you can submit that answer. So hopefully that'll help you just understand how the tools work. Uh, if you were uh, interested in graphing a line then you would select this line tool. But a quadratic function makes a parabola and so we want to make sure to um, choose that tool, plot the vertex, and then one other point. If you have any other questions, please feel free to email. Take care.